Hey, welcome back to our channel, your ultimate guide to all things real estate. And today we're going to dive in, dive into a topic that has been the subject of heated debate, and that is renting versus owning. This is the ultimate showdown. So let's kick things off with a quick snapshot of what each option entails. Renting, as you know, it's like a long-term hotel stay. You pay a monthly fee to live in a property owned by somebody else. On the flip side, buying's like being the king or the queen of your castle. You own the property and it's yours to do with as you please. So now let's talk numbers. Did you know that the median monthly mortgage payment in the US is actually less than the median monthly rent? That's right, according to the US Census Bureau, the median monthly mortgage payment is $1,030. And while the medium rent is $1,062, $32 difference each month. And over a year, that's a savings of like 380 bucks. But hey, we're just not about numbers here. Let's bring this into some real life examples. So consider our friend Destiny. She was renting a swanky apartment for about $1,300 a month, but then decided to buy a cozy little suburban home. Her mortgage payment, just $950 a month. Plus she's building equity in this home. This is a fancy way of saying that she's investing in her future. Now we know what you're thinking, but what about the maintenance costs and property taxes? All right, you got us there. As a homeowner, you're gonna have to foot the bill for any of the repairs or upgrades. But remember, as a renter, your landlord can hike up your rent each year. As a homeowner, you're gonna have a fixed monthly mortgage payment that's never gonna change over time. So before we wrap up, I have a quick favor to ask. If you're enjoying this video and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We promise it's going to be worth it. So there you have it. The ultimate showdown between renting and buying. While both have their pros and cons, buying seems to come out on top when you consider the long-term financial benefits. But remember, the best choice depends on your personal circumstances and financial goals. So that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch up with you on the next one. Until then, Keep dreaming big, make smart real estate decisions.